Do you know all the alphabets? Have you ever wondered how each letter sounds? Well, buckle up and prepare to embark on a magical journey through the world of alphabets. Imagine the sound of a soft melody. It's a song, a unique song for each alphabet. Start with the letter A. Hear that? That's the sound of an apple falling from a tree. A is for apple, it sounds like R. Sing along to the tune of the apple falling R R apple. Now listen to the letter B. It's the sound of a bouncing ball. B is for ball, it sounds like B. Hear the rhythm of the bouncing ball as you sing B B ball. Next up is C. It's the sound of a cat purring. C is for cat, it sounds like coo. Feel the vibration of the purring cat as you croon coo ca cat. This grand musical journey continues. From the drumming D, the echoing E, the fluttering F, right through to the zipping Z. Each letter sings its own song, and each song tells a story. It's like a symphony, a symphony of sounds, each alphabet playing its part, each sound, a note in the grand composition of language. Remember, every letter has a sound, and every sound is a song waiting to be sung. Think about the G giggling like a goose, or the Q quietly quacking like a quail. Imagine the hay humming like a helicopter, or the R roaring like a rocket. These are not just letters. They are sounds, they are songs, they are stories. As the melody of the alphabet symphony fades, take a moment to reflect on this journey. From A to Z, every letter has sung its song, told its story, and played its part in the symphony of sounds. In this grand orchestra of language, every letter counts, every sound matters. It's a world of wonder, a world of sound, a world of stories. So the next time you see a letter, remember its sound, remember its song. And maybe, just maybe, you'll hear the symphony playing again. The song of the alphabet is a melody that stays with you, a tune that you can sing along to, a rhythm that you can dance to. It's the music of language, the symphony of sounds. Learning the alphabet is not just about memorizing letters. It's about understanding their sounds. It's about hearing their songs. It's about embarking on a journey, a journey through the world of language. So what did we learn today? We discovered that each letter of the alphabet has a sound. We learned that these sounds can be sung as songs. And we found out that these songs tell stories. Remember, every letter has a sound. And every sound is a song waiting to be sung. So go on, sing the song of the alphabet. Hear the symphony of sounds. And let the music of language fill your world. And that, my friends, is the magical world of alphabets. A world of sounds, a world of songs, a world of stories. A world waiting for you to explore. So, what are you waiting for? Start exploring!